rise to simplify the given expression. And we'll take a look at two methods for simplifying the expression. We'll first write the expression using only positive exponents, and we'll do this using the negative exponent rule shown here. A raised to the power of negative m, which is a fraction, has a denominator of one, is equal to one over a raised to the power of positive m. So if the base of a is moved to the denominator, the exponent changes sign. So looking back at the given expression, right now it has a denominator of one, but because two x squared has a negative exponent, if we move the base of two x squared to the denominator, the exponent will change from negative three to positive three. So the given expression is equivalent to the expression where the numerator has a base of four x to the fourth raised to the third power, and the denominator would have a base of two x squared raised to the power of not negative three, but positive three. And now we'll clear the parentheses by applying the power property of exponents, which is shown here. When we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. But it's important to remember, four x to the fourth is really four to the first times x to the fourth, and two x squared is really two to the first times x to the second. So now we'll multiply the exponents. So we'd have four raised to the power of one times three, which is three, x raised to the power of four times three, which is 12, divided by two raised to the power of one times three, which is three, so two to the third, x raised to the power of two times three, which is six. And now we'll evaluate four to the third and two to the third. Four to the third is equal to 64, so we have 64 x to the 12th, divided by two to the third is eight, so we have divided by eight x to the sixth. And now we'll simplify the quotient of the coefficients and the quotient of the x's. If it's helpful, we can write this as 64 divided by eight times x to the 12th divided by x to the sixth. Well, 64 divided by eight is equal to eight. And here we're dividing and the bases are the same. So we apply the quotient property of exponents shown here, where for dividing, and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. So x to the twelfth divided by x to the sixth is equal to x raised to the power of twelve minus six, which is six. The given expression simplifies to eight x to the sixth. So this is one method to simplify the given expression. Let's take a look at a second method. For the second method, we'll begin by clearing the parentheses by applying the power property of exponents. So again, this is four to the first x to the fourth. This is two to the first x to the second. So here we'll multiply the exponents by three. Here we'll multiply the exponents by negative three. So the given expression is equivalent to four raised to the power of one times three, which is three, x raised to the power of four times three, which is 12, times two raised to the power of one times negative three, which is negative three, and x raised to the power of two times negative three, which is negative six. So this is really four to the third times x to the twelfth times two to the negative third times x to the negative sixth. Let's change the order of the multiplication and write this as four to the third times two to the power of negative three times x raised to the power of twelve times x raised to the power of negative six. Let's write two to the negative three using a positive exponent, and therefore we can write this as four to the third divided by two raised to the power of positive three. And then we have times x to the twelfth times x to the negative sixth. We're multiplying, and the base is the same, and therefore we add the exponents. This would be x raised to the power of twelve plus negative six. Well, four to the third we know is equal to sixty-four. Two to the third is equal to eight. And here we have x raised to the power of 12 plus negative six, which is positive six. And finally, 64 divided by eight is equal to eight. So of course, the expression also simplifies to eight x to the sixth. So while you'll probably prefer one of these methods over the other, it is important to understand why both methods work to simplify the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.